Well, let's talk now about the, the bicycle problem. Okay, this one is also easy because uh, it is when they have to transport the bicycle, it just need 20 francs to to transport. But what happens when the bicycle has a surcharge? Uh, when the bicycle it is not packed, it is just thrown away. I believe that the, the company must um, protect the bicycle by themselves. So if the the customer did not provide uh, the proper pa packing for the bicycle, the transporter, right, the company that it is going to transport is going to have to protect the bicycle. So it is going to add a little more, okay, uh, on the uh, financial um, agreement to compensate this extra um, packing. Well, in the end, we know that all the bicycles they are being transported but they are not packed so the company it is going to pack everybody and therefore is going to charge 20 francs it is the uh, the basic transportation charge plus 8 francs because they are going to add the packing okay costs this is the packing cost this is the transportation cost well it's 28 okay in here so this is to transport one bike well, we have to transport 27 bikes. See the arrow? What? 28. This is money. Okay? 28, one bike, 27. How many? Money. Again, very simple. The more bike we transport, expensive, more expensive it gets. Again, if this increase, this increase. And this is, what is the ratio? it is 27 what is this ratio must be 27 too okay it is proportional now it's very straightforward so the answer x it is just going to be what uh, 28 right times the ratio okay so this is 756 Okay, I don't know which money is it, it's cents or dollars, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and here we are. That is why uh, your father is trying to make you understand that when you just use these methods, when you're just using ratios, it's much faster. Okay, I, I know you're not very used to it, but uh, uh, it, it involves uh, sing, uh, more simple steps. I, I'm not doing this because your dad told me so. I'm not like this, okay? I'm doing this way because that is also the way I solve. So, you have two engineers that are solving through this one. Well, maybe we, we have a good way to solve it, right? Because we both agreed, okay? Again, I'm not solving this because your, 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 your dad told me so. No, I don't do this in my life, okay? I'm doing this because I agree with your dad. This is the best way to solve. Those exercises at least. But... Some others, it is good to solve on the, on the way you do, to go, uh, to, to make a middle step and make. One of these is that, okay, for example, in this part in here, it's interesting to see. Six people, nine days. One people, 540. Then, five people, it is this. You see, this is, if you were to put this in steps, I would say that this would be the first step then the one people okay the six people let's put it like this the six people would be the first step the one people would be the second step and then the five people would be the third step okay and that is where I'm telling you on this case the way you solve it's perfect okay that is how I would also solve first step six to ninety Second step, the middle step, one people, 540. And then the third step, five. Okay, you see, we have three steps in here. One more than just this step. But depending on the situation, it is uh, better to work on this fast route. And sometimes you need to use your own. That's why it is my job to tell you that 
uh, there are many routes in math that you have to follow, okay? In this case, it is fast routes. But most of times, you're going to get this problem, and that is why your dad is worrying and uh, wants you to, to, to know that this is the most important method, but we do have others, okay? You, we can't ignore those type of examples. And like I told you, we have, uh, wh where was it? Wh remember those steps that I used to, Let's bring up in here. They are here. They are somewhere in here. Wow, oh, a lot. Uh, five more. Okay, you see? You can just pause the video. Let me just... Uh, let me just do this. I think I can do this one for now. Yeah, okay. You see? You can just pause the video. And then you can just remember those steps. We can make cross multiplication. First step. Or we can make just the ratio thing. Remember? Divide by 3, divide by 3. This is the one we, we use the most. Or we can make the third type. The third type would be the middle step. First step, second step, make it with 1, okay? And the third step, we just end the problem. Now, when are we going to use the cross multiplication? Huh, when the numbers are crazy, you have no connection, or you are tired, you don't want to think about it, okay? This is good to use the first method. When are going to use this second method? Method when the factors are simple to work with, like threes, twos, five, tens, halves, something like this, okay? Um, or maybe maybe when when you are going to multiply the factor by those numbers, they are easy. So the second approach we are going to use when uh, in in the most majority of times, and also when the numbers are easy to work with. And oh, this is third right this is a third method and the third method you are going to use when it's very easy to get a one in here or a one in here remember the pink it is the middle step we are going to use this third one when you have to make a one in here or one in here depend on the problem it is good to think about this okay so that is about problem uh, number eight which is about uh, the, the the bicycle yeah the the, uh, the bicycle problem